Okay, so in this video I'm just going to show you how to run a basic bivariate correlation. Um, so you're going to go up here to Analyze. You're going to go to Descriptives. I mean, I'm sorry, you're going to go to Correlate. You're going to go to Bivariate. And you're going to move the variables over that you want to look at the correlations for. Okay, so when your data are continuous, so interval or ratio data, you can click on options and you can do means and standard deviations. Don't worry about cross product deviations and covariances. All right, and you'll notice that SPSS defaults to Pearson, defaults to two tailed. We'll talk a little about this later. And we're going to flag significant correlations. And we're going to click OK. All right, so this is our output. So here's our descriptives, our means, and our standard deviations. And how do you actually interpret this? So I look at time spent revising, my Pearson correlation, which is my R value, and my exam performance. Right, that's my R value. So that's the relationship between time spent revising and exam performance. And this is the relationship between time spent revising and exam anxiety. So my sig two tail is my significance value. And this is telling me that there is a significant relationship between time spent revising and exam performance as well as time spent revising and, and exam anxiety. Notice this one is positive, this one is negative. So we said a positive relationship implies that as one variable goes up so does the other. So this is telling me that there is a significant positive relationship between time spent revising and exam performance. So as time spent revising increased, exam performance percent grade increased. On anxiety, on the other hand, time spent revising is negative. So as time spent revising increased, exam anxiety decreased. So that kind of gives you a little bit of an interpretation of that. And you can do the same thing with the next three variables.